Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about iPadOS 13.6 Beta 2. So today, Apple released iPadOS 13.6 Beta 2 and also iOS 13.6 Beta 2. Uh, so those are two monumental updates that Apple did. So when you see it's iPadOS 13.6, you're probably getting flashbacks of iPadOS 13.4, where Apple gave us everything in the kitchen sink. They gave a whole bunch of new features, a lot of great usability, and especially with that new Magic Trackpad integration and other Bluetooth devices, we thought this was the best update ever for the iPad. So with 13.6, they're probably thinking the same thing, but it's anything but that. Uh, so with iPadOS 13.5.1, the main purpose of it was to patch the Uncovered JB. Now, if you want to keep that Uncovered JB, you have to stay on 13.5 for iOS and iPad. So you're going to make sure you stay on both of them. But then the next update after iPadOS 13.5.1, which was iPadOS 13.5.5 uh, Beta 1, which is last week, which was the bug fixes and just small performance improvements. So Apple didn't really go in depth what it was all about. So now we're at 13.6 and basically it's 13.6 instead of iPadOS 13.5.5 beta 2. Uh, so it's just basically the same as 13.5.5. There's no big features. It's it's a very confusing web of software updates, but I hope I was able to break it down there. Uh, now, the overall improvements are just very minuscule uh, and just it's a small incremental update. But the new feature in iPadOS 13.6 is the customized automatic updates feature. Uh, so it allows you to download a software update automatically and then you have the choice to install it whenever. So instead of having to download and wait to download, it will automatically download and then you can install whenever or you can enable it so that it will automatically download and install every new update from now on. So that's what the customized automatic update feature allows you to do. It's especially useful when you just plug your phone in overnight, just want to download the software, and then you can just uh, install it whenever in the next day, or you could just download and install it overnight uh, just in one uh, sitting. So it's really easy in that way. So if you really uh, want to update to iPadOS 13.6, I would recommend it. Now I recommend it because of the performance boost, the overall uh, security and bug fixes, uh, that are now improved and I really am hoping that 13.6 is the last update before iPadOS 14 beta 1 which will be coming on June 22nd at Apple's WWDC so it's on the way so I'm really hoping that this is the final update for iPadOS 13.6 and then we finally get iPadOS 14 beta 1 and we'll see a new host of features and just go ahead and click on that card in the top right uh, to see the confirmed features of iPadOS 14 where I go very in-depth in that video so I highly recommend that you go ahead and update to iPadOS 13.6. So thank you for watching this video on iPadOS 13.6. So thank you for watching this video on iPadOS 13.6. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, smash the like button. Be sure to leave a comment down below of what you think of iPadOS 13.6. Follow me on all the social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. My username there is AppleCritics. And be sure to subscribe for more great content. And thanks for watching.